and someone who has got less risk taking appetite he needs some security safety wants to stay at home with a better life a better pay package can go for ship chartering if i am right sir hi everyone jai hind jai bharat jai mata di welcome to my youtube channel merchant and recorded another day another video and this video is of a part of commercial shipping called ship chartering it's a high time guys to understand what is ship chartering and why you need to know about this so please captain nana guide us with ship chartering thoda sa brief description then we can come to the personal questions right absolutely <clears throat> so essentially um, um you are a um, you know on the uh, you have a vessel right and you would want to uh, employ that vessel at a uh, um, in a certain trade right you need cargo right so um, on the principal side once you are there and once you need to hunt for a cargo that's where uh, that's what the core role of a ship charterer is right to ensure the employability of a vessel uh, by having the desired cargo which the vessel can carry right um and and almost whosoever is operating a vessel whosoever is owning a vessel will uh, need charter right uh, so, so that's how it works sir ye to basic ho gaya now i have heard that Uh, there's a lot of money in board ship chartering as well because you get commission suppose you fix up a ship from a to b then you get a good commissions as well so how true is that and how much can a person earn in ship chartering right so um right like, there's a little difference over here because in broking you get commissions right okay. now when you are in chartering you are say already on the side of a principal right you have a lot of power um because you will then tell the broker to fix it for me right so for example you have a house and you want to rent it out right you have 100 houses you will tell you will employ one person that yaar ye mera ghar ko wo kar de so typically you don't pay this person jisko aapne employ kiya hua hai a commission to 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 fix the uh, to put the house on rent right uh, you would pay the commission to the broker to uh, so yahan pe the salaries are higher um the life is a little better as compared to a broker but the commissions probably uh, are not as high or maybe just uh, minimalistic as compared to the brokers uh, but you have a lot of power in this okay so to if i put it this way like upskilling what kind of skill do we need out here for uh, ship chartering what would you suggest right so mostly what happens is over here you would either have senior officers masters uh, chief engineers probably coming in directly from the sea uh, and and taking this role uh, or otherwise um, you would um, have someone who's already worked as a broker right who has done the deals who knows how to uh, fix a vessel a cargo who will then come and sit in a charterer's uh, office right um Uh, again skills required good communications negotiation skills um networking skills um, um you know those are the key basic skills required um uh, but here seniority is important because the learning curve um uh, as a charter as an operations within chartering team maybe a junior person can go but as a charter uh, you need that seniority you need that a lot of experience uh, in that so similar to say that qualities required for ship broking and chartering are very similar out here the thing is the incentives involved are less but the basic salary pay package is high right yeah, sir absolutely so someone who is who has got the same qualities but has the risk taking capability and has high ambitions but should definitely go for ship broking and someone who has got less risk taking appetite he needs some security safety wants to stay at home with a better life a better pay package can go for ship chartering if i am right sir absolutely absolutely very well sir okay any kind of uh, what kind of so in ship broking you said you can start with as plus 60000 per month what about ship chartering like how much is the pay package in india and how much is abroad where are the more opportunities can you just right so um now in ship chartering what will happen is um, um, uh, fresh of the sea at least at a junior level not many companies will prefer they would like to have someone uh, um who sailed as a master chief engineer at least uh, and these guys uh, will get probably say about a couple of lakhs uh, maybe a little bit more to start with 
बट अदरवाइज दे विल जनरली पिक अप पर्सन विद हु है ब्रोकिंग एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ अ फ्यू गेम्स and then they start at you know 4 5 lakhs a month uh, kind of a package but you need to have some sure experience in it uh, uh over here um, uh, the comp- the uh, your employability is maybe more outside india in india you'll have say the likes of jinders the likes of tata uh, steel um, uh, you know big big these uh, car uh, owners or or Uh, cargo houses which will employ you uh, but otherwise a lot of opportunities outside india in charter industry okay so with this i've got the salary i've got the skill i've got the opportunities i guess opportunities also very similar to that of ship broking you just have to look for the right any big ship broking ship chartering companies or uh, some colleges where we can do good courses for ship chartering any suggestions please um i think again uh, the courses uh, uh, in ship broking uh, ics course Right, same same thing is what what you could do, or uh, possibly go out to uh, UK or Greece to do your uh, courses. Um, um, so this is also a concept of uh, vessel operators, which is there. So companies like Bainbridge, which don't own a vessel but they you know operate them. Uh, that's where or and 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 more or uh, less. Uh, I mean, many more companies are coming into these uh, concept, which is where you could possibly find your uh, job. with this guys i guess we have got a brief insight on ship chartering so we need to get someone on ship chartering i'll try to get mr jagmeet makkar jo ki hong kong ship charters association ke member bhi hain and he's there so with this promise i say thank you very much jai hind jai bharat jai mata di keep asking your questions in the comment section and the answers will keep flowing take care bye hi if you are a marine engineer or a deck officer who is looking to quit sailing i think so that this video has been of some help and if you want all details of how to successfully transition from ship to shore for deck side or for engine side then we have made this complete course free of cost informative course for you guys on merchant navy decoded the link is in the description box as well as in the pinned comment so if you are a marine engineer you have a different section different course and if you are a deck officer there is a different course for you for successfully transitioning from ship to shore so please go ahead do that course get all the information if you have got any query contact team merchant navy decoded we will help you guide you to make uh, welcome changes and become successful thank you jai hind jai bharat jai mata